The Mavericks and the Mischief Makers occupied the night shift and the weekends. Free radicals like John Peel and the bearded one they called the genius of radio, Kenny Everett. He was a great... Lively. Oh, oh. Oh, Cheeky. Tea, coffee, sugar, and gramophones. Rebellious. Today the BBC, tomorrow, ITV if they love me. Wonderful genius sort of tap. Um, and I, I like those sort of people. And impossible at times. And now, from the sewage room Salford, it's Radio One Club. Oh dear, uh, let me press a button. Don't worry, I'll do it for you. The voice of Radio One. It's the Dave Cash Show. It's all a con, you know. Now, Kenny Everett, the man the BBC tried to gag. The first test came in 1971, when Kenny Everett, the station's most irrepressible talent, was sacked for attacking the corporation's cosy blandness once too often. Radio 1, 4. Isn't it strange that... I'm being filmed by one end of the BBC about being sacked by the other. He was that rara avis. At least, it appears so these days. He was funny. And he had talent. He also gave me a little bit of work from time to time. Made me look like an Egypt, but... Never seemed to matter when you were with him. Now, I particularly remember one sketch which involved the broadcasting under-manager. And they've got their names on all the doors, like DG. That means it's the Director General's office. He's the head of everything. Oh, so exciting. Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, good morning, Mr. Everett. Welcome to the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty DG. Let's have a look at something else. Look, it's all, it's all initials, OB. Ops, that's outside broadcast operators, uh, productions, assistant engineering, MY. What's that? Hang on. MY. Oh, Mike Yarwood. And this one, BUM, that must be broadcasting under manager. No, it's a bum. <laughs> what is it here? Toadies, studios, and. Uh... Oh! Oh! Ken! You! Well, at moonlight. Let us continue as we did last night. Darling. You're dancing as well as ever. I know. But now I must away. Why? I must see the broadcasting under manager. No. Oh, yes. Terry. No, no, I must do it. Don't Ken. open that door. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That sketch was not too bad. Yeah. I guess the first time that uh, I heard about Kenny Everett was in 1965 when I was on the pirate ship Radio Caroline. And this massive great uh, boat called Radio London turned up, and uh, this character on it that uh, I'd never heard anything like it before, Kenny Everett. He did a, a great program called the Kenny and Cash Show, which he incorporated these really wacky jingles and uh, something that really we'd never heard of in this country before. And I thought at that time, I thought this guy's going to be really very, very big in the country because nobody else was doing the same sort of things he was doing. Kenny was, in my opinion, a, a genius and a very, very shy and lovable person.